and got my first piece of cover in Alabama. About to flip it. Whoa, racer. Cool beans. First board had something under it. Sweet. Little racer. Uh, I think it's just a southern black. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's just southern black. Cool though. First piece of cover had a snake. Awesome. Alright, we'll photograph this guy and let him go and then we'll continue on. There's more cover down the road, or there should be anyway. It looked like it on Google Maps. So we'll go ahead and photograph this guy so we can get on with it. Pretty little racer. <laughs> First thoughts, Louisiana is green, but I think that's a good thing. All right, first herp in Louisiana. I'm going to jump to conclusions and say bullfrog. It just doesn't look like the ones we see over in Georgia. It's black and white rather than any green being present. Real speckly. Could be wrong, but it's definitely a ronid. I'm going to go with bullfrog for now. Anyway, it's really cool. There's two of them in this little puddle. Two that I see. There's one on that log there. But cool first herps of the day. Hopefully more to come that'll be a little more scaly. Hold a cotton mouth. He's tiny too. Absolutely tiny. Absolutely tiny. Tiny cotton. He's adorable though. All right, guys, well, that's my first time peeling a baby cottonmouth or any cottonmouth under bark. Let me get in the light. Quit shouting on him. He's adorable, though. Look at how big he is com compared to the size of my hand. He is tiny and he's really pretty. I'm gonna photograph him a little bit. All right, guys, this little baby cottonmouth is adorable, but I'm gonna let him get back to doing his thing. Pretty sure it's a different subspecies. Um, I'm pretty certain. I think it's a, I don't know if they call it a northern or a western cottonmouth now. I think now it's called a northern. I was going to show you his belly. I used just use a stick. But look at that belly. He's just red. He's got the green tail tip of course because he's a baby and he uses that and his caudal luring to bring in prey. He wiggles it like a little worm and little lizards and frogs and things come to eat it and they get eaten. What a cool little snake. I just love the colors on him. He's so different from the ones we have back in Georgia. And he's a lot. He's tiny. I don't think I've ever seen a cottonmouth this small. So. I'll let this guy go back in his log. Because I want to keep looking through this. He was right there. Second snake of the day. It's in amongst this pile of wood, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. It looked non-venomous. Probably a water snake or a racer, but it's dark. I'm about to see. I'll have to reconstruct this afterwards. There it is. Looks like a water snake. Come here. That's a plain belly. There it is. Plain belly. Sweet. I just saw his head suck up in there when I walked by. Kind of cool he's got a yellow belly instead of a red belly like the ones back home. So that's kind of neat. Look at this, this cobra. Oh, okay. Oh, snake. It's a ring neck. Cool. Something. Oh, 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 oh. 
Almost dropped you. Tiny dude. All right, guys, from under that log was this pretty little ringneck. I guess this would be a Mississippi ringneck. But they bit me. That cool little snake. Ooh, he was under that giant log. I just managed to get him. He's tiny, though. So I don't want to hurt him. I'm going to put him back. Better trash than I've seen the rest of the day. All right, guys, this is a really angry plain belly. It's even more vibrant than the last. I think the last one was a little bit in shed and beat up. And unfortunately, I accidentally let the rock fall back on this guy. Not like fall on top of him, but when I flipped it, he crawled back underneath it in a way that it kind of pinched him a little bit. And he is very angry, but he's okay by the looks of it. I'm glad he's not hurt, but he's just really angry with me. Ouch, I've got something biting me down there. But anyway, nice plain belly. All right, my GoPro died, so I'm gonna film like this with my phone because these look like good pieces. Skink, nice holes, burrows. Whew. Well guys, my GoPro, like I said, was dead, but I was digging through that stack of tin boards over there. Just got a big old Louisiana cane. This thing is massive. Look at that. About to photograph her and then let her go. It was really a struggle getting her out of there, so she's kind of tired out now. But, whew, tin was falling on me, cutting me and stuff. It don't matter though. This is awesome. Totally worth it. And, look, she's missing her the part of her tail where the rattles would catch. They have a button when they're ha when they're born. Every time the snake sheds its skin, a ring of skin will get caught on that button as the, skin, the snake grows and sheds its skin. That would build up the rattle that makes the noise, but that button is missing, so she's actually got no rattle, even though she's wiggling that tail. So, gotta be extra careful because I can't read the snake's temperament as well. Like right now, you can see that thing's going really fast. So, uh, she's very irritated right now, even though I w wouldn't say so otherwise. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and photograph her so we can get back into that tin and see if there's anything else in it. Alrighty guys, we're about to leave this beautiful animal to it and let her get back to doing her thing. Hopefully she'll stay right here for the time it takes me to look through the rest of that tin. And if not, this might be the last time we see her, but I'm gonna walk over there and try to finish flipping. What an awesome animal. That is a massive rattlesnake. Four or five foot, easy. Definitely bigger than four foot. It's gotta be a five foot snake. All right, if you guys are as ready as I am, we'll go ahead and set this girl free. Sorry I bothered you, sweetheart. Look how pretty she is. Looks like she knows where she's going, actually. She sees her tin. Just gonna let her do her thing. I've harassed her enough, so... I'll let her crawl back in there. What a magnificent snake. Oh, looks like she's gonna go in there. You can actually see her face in there. You see her little eye right there. Right back in there. All right, girl, we'll leave you alone. I just got another cool thing. This here is a big old garter snake. And I've seen pictures of garter snakes from Louisiana, but this thing is just beautiful. Man, I knew they were beautiful here and big. Look how big this thing is. This is my first Louisiana garter though, so pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that pattern when he flattens out. That's just awesome. He was under that tent over there by the road, and I had to dive on him to get him because he he scooted pretty fast once he realized he'd been flipped. But beautiful garter snake. I like Pamnophis. They're just cool to me. I mean, how can you not look at that and see an awesome snake? Even though they are common. focus on that pattern. That's beautiful. Alright, I think we'll let this beautiful girl go and keep moving. She gave me a bite. 
the saliva, they're actually rear fang venomous and their saliva has an anticoagulant in it that makes you bleed more than you would if it was just an ordinary scratch. But it's nothing to worry about, like that's all it does. Maybe a little bit of itching, maybe. Anyway, we're gonna let her go. Hi guys, well these are green water snakes and two of these are mating, so I'm going to let them go. Uh, these are Mississippi green water snakes. So they're different than the ones we have back home. Those are Florida green water snakes, but still these are a lifer. I'm stoked. Only seeing a handful of dead green water snakes. Alright, no CMs are tearing me up, so I'll give you one more look at this beautiful little green water snake. And then I'm getting the heck out of here because, oh! Well guys, here's an in-situ for you. I was walking out of here to come back to the road and I almost stepped on this little baby cane. That is freaking awesome. Can you see him? He's right there. All right, so here's this gorgeous little cane break. He's digesting a meal there. He's just eating something. Don't know what, but he's very calm. He's only got one little button there. Got a nice food bowl with and a good bit of fat on them too. Go ahead and put him back. I'd love to spend more time with this guy, but these no CMs are eating me up. Big cotton right here. I'm gonna step on him. Alrighty guys, so I just pulled this cotton mouth out of his little, he ended up co coiling up in that can and I, I dumped him out. Here he is, he's huge. And he's very unhappy with me, so I'm about to let him go. Great way to end the day, I'm probably going to call it here because I'm getting tore up by no CMs and mosquitoes and I need to drive. I need to get on the road so I can get back to the panhandle of Florida before the night's over with. Because I need to get some sleep and be ready for tomorrow. Super glad I found this guy. I really can't complain with a snake like that. I'm gonna try not to be chased while I move this guy out of sight because there are people over there, so. Oh, you're gonna hide your head? Come on. Man, you're big. So fat. That's incredible. Oh, man. What's up, guys? I'm back in the car and I've been driving now for. In a quarter mile, turn right. And I'm on my way back to the panhandle because. Uh, I gotta get some sleep for tomorrow. I'm probably gonna sleep in because tomorrow night we have some stuff planned. I'm planning on meeting Trin Trinity and Jennifer to do some herping with them, see if we can turn up some reticulated sirens. And if not, then we should see some other cool salamanders, aquatic salamanders that is. And uh, yeah, if that doesn't work out, then still the next day we have, we're gonna be in Apalachicola National Forest. So we're gonna have whole day there to just do whatever and try to find as many snakes as possible so if that goes anything like today went in Louisiana then it should be pretty great but I'll keep you guys updated I know you can't see my face right now so my apologies but I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I get up and I head out Good morning everyone it's the next day and I'm here in Florida coming to you from the panhandle and I thought I'd come out here to the coast I'm actually staying right here on the coast and we're gonna do some flipping before we head out today and go on to Alabama for where we're gonna be tonight but anyway let's go ahead and get to it there's some glass lizards that live out here on the coast and that's what I was gonna go for isopods Underwater flipping at the beach.
looks like this dude was the only notable inhabitant of that board. Blue crab. He's very angry. This smaller dude right here digging himself a hole. Some sort of whelk. It's pretty cool. There's a redfish right here. I don't have a rod or reel, but look at that. Alright guys, I just flipped a toadfish under this cinder block. It's right there, also called a scorpion fish. These guys are, are actually venomous. They have venomous spines on their back. And if I had a net, I would get them up close for the camera. Don't have one, so I might try to see if I can scoop them up. Oh, he darted. Never mind. They look like a giant tadpole, though. There he is right there. See him blending in with the bottom there. I always look forward to seeing these out here. They're... He's hiding beneath... There he went. He's hiding beneath my foot for a second. I would grab them because they're not terribly fast. They kind of just sit on the bottom, but I don't want to get stuck by those spines be in a world of pain so alrighty guys we have made it this is the spot we're gonna be at tonight Trinity and Jennifer haven't gotten here yet but once they do we're gonna start hitting that wetland and I'm gonna see if I can turn anything up before they get here alrighty first amphibian of the night well I've seen some cricket frogs but other than that uh, this is it appears to be a river frog I haven't really taken a good look at it, but yeah it looks like it's looking like a river frog, which is pretty cool. Um, I have to look at the range map and make sure, but that's what I'm guessing if, at first glance because it looks just like one I found in Georgia. I don't know how far the range goes into Florida or where, but I'm going to call this a river frog and, unless I find out otherwise. Alrighty, y'all, here's another cool find. It's another frog. This is a gray tree frog. Woo! The river frog actually got away from me before I could get any good photos, but probably just gonna let this guy go. He is cool though. I always love finding these. Another species to add to the list as well as green tree frogs. So the amphibians are out, we just need to find sirens. Well guys, we finally got our first snake of the day. First snake of the night. Nice little Nerodia fasciata, banded water snake. This one's got surprisingly few markings on his belly. That's kind of weird. I didn't notice that till now. He's also missing his tail. That's kind of cool. He's got little, kind of like a ring neck. He's got little uh, half moons on his belly scales. Alrighty guys, well I just nabbed two, count them, two loggerhead musk turtles. There's like a whole bunch of them all close together. So I just dipped for this bigger one and the little guy was in there with him. So pretty cool. Love these guys. I'm going to let him go. There's probably a lot more out here, but really neat. There goes the little guy. Let this one go back to There they go. They look like little bugs scuttling along the bottom. Well, this stink pot just bit me and it really hurt, but another species to add to the list today, stink pot common musk turtle, whatever you want to call it. But I'm letting it go now because I'm just as tired of it as it is of me. It just bit me on the finger, so. Beep. All right guys, I don't know how well you can see me, but another member of our little team just found a reticulated siren. So we're gonna go see if we can see this guy before they let it go. Uh, I brought a, an aquarium to photograph him in, so I'm gonna try to do that. But we told them to hold it for us. They're right down the road from where we were. So we're driving right now to go see if we can get a look at it. Yes, please do that. <laughs> the, the, here, a couple of lifers and including. Yes, that's a good beast. And then I'm believe me when I say so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> except for me. Yeah. Right, except for Bradley. I, I him so much. I Kevin saw it first, I saw it second. CJ missed it first. That's true. I'm here. I don't Justin care. caught it. <sighs> so cool. I'm with those feet. Alright, so we got reference. We got full body. Oh, need nice. perfect 90 degree angle. Can you stretch out his tail at all? Yeah. Let's get a few shots. That's, actually, yeah. that's actually perfect right there. 
Sorry if I did not do the best job of narrating that because I was so excited about what just happened. That was incredible. There's only been a handful of people that have gone looking for those and found them. And I'm proud to be someone who was in the group of people that found them. I didn't actually spot it. I want to clarify that. Someone else found that, that sirens. I don't know everyone's Instagram handle, but I'm going to go ahead and find that out before I post this video so that I can tag everyone and put it up in the video, whatever, to show who actually found it and who all was here that contributed. So I found the spot for us to search um, and I did not actually find the actual siren though. So I gotta go because we are on the way to Waffle House to eat and then tomorrow we're gonna get out and hike some habitat in the Panhandle look for Pines and Scarlet King. So I'll check back in then. Good morning everyone. I'm gonna do a little bit of an update here because we just got up and moving this morning. We got out a little late because we were up all night looking for reticulated sirens which was a success so today we're gonna go out and look for snakes within the panhandle of florida we just got a mud turtle salamander wait what i don't know i can't tell we have a possible salamander and a mud turtle just sitting out in the open blazing sun cool little dude i guess next herp of the day gulf coast box turtle right here yeah look at that belly that's a nice looking turtle. I want to see it. Give me. I'm on red tape for you. Okay. He's got a bowl. Look at that. There he does. <laughs> <laughs> I just want like a flare. flare. Yeah. He was so handsome. Well, he was. He was out. Uh, next two finds, what time is it? Like 5 o'clock? It's a lot later because it was too hot earlier. 6? Yeah. Wow. Well, this is what we have to show for today. <laughs> this is the box turtle. Slimy salamander and a bark scorpion. Randy Lynn said she'd do it, but she didn't want to do it without asking me. Wait, just do it. Okay. Finally. This is my second copperhead ever and my first one in Florida. Really? Yeah. Nice. Classic southern copperhead, even though they're all just eastern copperhead now, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Torture, it's right there. The reason we're so excited about this copperhead is because we're in Florida. Not around any mountains or, you know, Piedmont or anything like that. So this is a coastal plain copperhead. What, what coastal, kind of, all right. Coastal, yeah. <laughs> wow. All just right. kind of, light's kind of whitening her out. When you say that, it wow. just Can you please eat a cicada now? <laughs> I'm just videoing her crawling through the it's really cool 